from Byron's Games. You're watching Learn and Explore brought to you by Lava Pumi Network sponsored by Byron's Games. Today we're here with Max Sansing, a mural artist from Chicago. Hi kids. So Max, tell us about yourself. Well, I am a public artist from Avalon Park on the south side of Chicago and I have been doing murals since I was 14 years old. How did you get interested in mural art? I actually grew up reading comic books and I got into the uh, hip hop movement and that's how I got into graffiti. And from there I started doing more public art and uh, here I am now. Cool. Years later. This is pretty cool. How did you start doing this? Um, we started last Monday. So it's only been about five days and uh, we basically work with the local community group here, the Southside Chamber of Commerce, and um, I lived in the neighborhood, and we decided that we wanted to do a large mural to kind of impact the neighborhood and have, you know, a dose of, uh, you know, goodwill towards the people and everything, and so that's how we were able to get this together, and uh, the whole mural is basically about community and family and how we all work together to kind of help bring each other up. Interesting. How did you choose the people in this mural? Well, um, these are actually friends of mine and then the folks from the neighborhood. Uh, we have a neighborhood elder, Mrs. Myers. She's on the piece as well. And uh, we have different representatives, different people from the community. Which one is the biggest one you've ever done? Uh, one of the biggest murals I've ever done was uh, Chris Bryant from Cubs in Wrigleyville. And uh, that one was fun. It was pretty. I created with a really big baseball bat on fire. Cool. And, uh, my favorite piece, I kind of don't really have a favorite one. I like all of them. But the latest one is always my favorite one. Okay, and which one is the hardest one you've ever done? Oh, the hardest. Might be this one. <laughs> it might be this one right here. Why would it be this one? Oh, um, only because it's usually most of my murals usually focus on one central figure, and this one has about five of them. And so, you know, as I go from one to the other, I say, this one's my favorite. And I'm like, no, this one's my favorite. So, you know, it's got, I want to make each one look as good. So wherever you take a picture on the mural, it looks completed. Are there people that assist you or do you paint it by yourself? I designed the mural by myself. And uh, as far as the clothing and helping me get supplies together and painting large areas, I work with my friends that I've known for years. So they help me complete it. How do you reach the top of the buildings? Oh, I use these uh, sky jacks, or I guess uh, call them scissor lifts. And uh, basically, you press a button and they go up and down and back and forward. So it's kind of like operating a giant remote control car. What do you like most about the work that you do? Um, it's public art, so it's for the public, and I like to see the the reaction and how it changes the the area where I'm painting at. You know, I like to see people's responses and how it makes them feel. How many murals have you done? Oh, uh, I've probably done over fifty murals. Yeah. That's a lot of murals. A lot. Of We're here in Chicago today. What? Other places do you paint your murals? Oh, wow. I've painted all, uh, pretty much all over the country. Uh, you know, Denver, I've painted quite a bit out in Denver. Uh, painted in Miami, uh, painted in New York, uh, a lot of Midwest states, you know, Missouri, Ohio, Wisconsin, all over the place. I've gone, uh, painted in Puerto Rico, other places, so yeah. Going to Canada and, you know, traveling around quite a bit. Cool. What skills do you need to be a good artist? Hmm. Patience. Discipline. You need to be a really good listener. And you need to be very persistent because there's a whole lot of bad drawing somewhere for every good artist. And so you can never be discouraged if you do bad work because, you know, good work's around the corner and the good work sits on top of the bad work. So that's pretty much it. Are there any artists from the past or from today that inspire you? Oh, my father, he was an artist. And uh, my mother, they she painted as well. My uncles, uh, 
uh, there's an artist named Calvin Jones who has a mural just across the street over there. I grew up looking at that particular mural when I was a kid, around your age. And, uh, you know, just lo a lot of local artists because uh, I like that they were able to do art growing up in the city. And when I went to school, you know, Art wasn't really a big thing amongst the kids and everything, so it was kind of inspiring to see people that were into something that wasn't necessarily popular. Great. If you could go back in time and give yourself one piece of advice as a kid, what would it be? <laughs> Listen to myself <laughs> when I come back in time to talk to myself about listening. <laughs> So yeah, listen, listen more, man. Okay, okay. What's left in this mural? Uh, I have to paint the little girl, some hands, and let's see, uh, some books up there in the house, and then a bunch of colors, and that's it. Cool. What advice would you have for a kid that would like to be an artist, or just has a passion for something in general? Uh, be persistent. Find out what you like, find out what you love, find out what makes you happy, and then grow upon that. And try not to get distracted by a lot of things. Okay. Yeah. What was the hardest thing that ever happened to you, and how did you get through it? Oh, uh, I guess in terms of art, it was kind of wondering whether this is what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And uh, having doubt about that was one of the hardest things but it was funny because I mean the art was the thing that kind of broke me out of that thinking you know like the art brought it back around and then you know things worked out it's like whatever you're doing if you give enough good energy to it and you do it with you know a whole heart it'll always come back around to you man so okay. you know I stuck with it for people to take away from your art? Um, discovery. I always like to hear stories about people who are starting a new begin beginning in their life and the next step for their lives. And so I kind of want my art to kind of help inspire that, you know? So uh, just inspiration and transformation into like a new, a new uh, point in life. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Byra. Thanks for being an inspiration, man. Thank you. Um, you guys can look for me on Facebook and Instagram at Max Sansane. Uh, pretty much all the social media outlets. And uh, thank you guys once again. Appreciate it. If you're watching from the hospital, keep your chin up. I'm thinking about you and I hope you get better soon. Thank you for watching Learn and Explore. Bye. See you next time.